Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and lately I've been working on this barn conversion build. So yeah, my idea for this build was I wanted to have it so like there was originally two barns here, yeah? maybe it's even a farmhouse. Um, but yeah, the, and someone's bought the lot and converted it into one home. Rather than converting them into like a home each, I thought it would be best to just build a little bit in between them and connect the two to make one nice big house. Um, it is a three bedroomed house um, and some of the bedrooms are, well one of the bedrooms, the main bedroom, um, I know some people might not like it the, with the way I have built it but it, it, it worked with the build so yeah the, and there's like a little snug area I built as well which I just by the time I had got round to furnishing that I just didn't have a clue what to do but um yeah it, it it's it's quite big mainly it's the garden that takes up most of the lot because I have built this on a 64 by 64 lot and um, but yeah like I said it's mainly the garden that has took up that and um, had to try and come up with some ideas to try and fill up the garden as well with it being so big but uh, yeah so I have had to put this into two videos because it was just like so so long I've had to cut a few bits out as well Um nothing with too much detail in just the boring parts that I thought to, just to try and get the time down on on the um, video yeah I would just cut a few of them bits out but yeah there's quite a lot that goes into this especially the garden with it being so big I had to come up with different ideas for there so I do get like a little veggie garden in here and um, I put a little summer house out the back which I originally was going to make as just somewhere nice to sit and chill but um, when it came around to, to furnishing that I ended up making it into like a little art studio but uh, this part is just mainly the build um, part two will be the furnishing um, so yeah I will you will be able to see the furnishing the little bit there god getting on my way to next up you will be able to see the furnishing of this build in part two this is just mainly the the, the build and the garden and um, but yeah so like I said I wanted it to be two bonds that had been connected together so the piece that I've connected it with uh, I wanted that to look more sort of like modern I wanted to try and bring like the old in with the new so we've got floor to ceiling um, windows in here and doors and yeah just trying to make it look slightly more modern in places and then yeah the, I built a part on the back which I wanted to be quite sort of like a little sort of like a little sunroom I was wanting to do that it's a little area to chill and sit but once I got into the furnishing um, it, it ended up becoming the dining room because there was nowhere else in the house there wasn't room within the other places in the house for to have a dining room so yeah that bit turns into the dining room which it it turned out quite nice in the end it seemed like a, a nice place to have a, a little dining room but um yeah so right here I'm building well I'm trying to build like a garaged area but I did raise the house up um the foundations up slightly so then I had to use a roof to make it look like there was a ramp going up there so you could actually get a car up there and then I put some stairs either side of that as well so sims can walk down there because you can't actually walk on roofs <laughs> so it wouldn't have been good with just that there but yeah just doing the garden just trying to get some like some nice detail in the garden because round the front I didn't want it to be too overrun with plants I wanted it to be a bit paid back um a little bit minimal um just not like too much going on but there's got i sorry i've put some planters around here loads of big long narrow planters which i filled up with i think i use like it's the red rose bush i think it is yeah and so just a couple of other little plants there's not too many different plants around here and um, throughout most of the build i don't use many different plants it's more or less the same kinds that I just use around the front and the back garden and um, taking some of them big tall skinny tree things and 
just sizing them down and raising them up a bit just so you'd have a bit of variation between the different trees um just so they don't all look the same because they just it doesn't that doesn't happen in real life so just trying to make it look a little bit more realistic um and keep a nice look flowing throughout of it um so yeah with the garage area i didn't want to do what what I know what I've done in the past and what most people normally do with with the garages to make the doors where you just take some of the wall pan um, the wall paints and create it through that and then some of the small little narrow windows. Uh, yeah, I wanted to try and just mix it up a bit, change it, do something different. And I mean, it, they, they haven't got any actual doors on the garage, but it, I just wanted to just mix it up a bit and try something different. And um, so I've used some of the archways, the door archways, um, but the, the smaller one, the one that actually fits the, the wall height that I've used here, was just, it was too narrow. You were never going to be able to get a car through there. So I did have to raise the walls up a bit just so I could get the, the higher um, arch doorway and pop that on and then I raised well I lowered sorry I lowered the walls back down so there is a little section where at the top it does look slightly it does look a bit funny but I had to do that Ted calm down sorry dog's going crazy um what was I saying again oh yeah so I, I had to um I just had to use them them archways because yeah, like I said, the, the ones that fit that wall height, which is too narrow. Um, but yeah, so my idea for the garage was maybe that it could have been, I don't know, maybe the stable or something else like that on this lot. But now it's been like converted into the garage. Um, so I do furnish the garage in this video. Um, I'll clutter it up rather. But yeah, like I said, the rest of the furnishing is left for the, the second video. Um, I've come up with some cool little ideas as well with some of the furnishing. Um, I'm not going to talk too much about that though. I'm going to leave it as a surprise for video two. But there's some nice little ideas that I've come up with now that we've got the, the option to be able to size objects down. Um, I'm loving that. I am. It just opens up so much more possibilities when you're furnishing things and then building and yeah it's just it's a I think I like that better than actual all the new roofs and roof angles that we can do I'm so glad we've we've got that in the game now but uh yeah so in the back of here I also get um a nice pond and try to make like a little waterfall area out the back um, yeah, just trying to come up with ideas to fill the, the back garden area up because it is quite big. Um, I mean, I know we've got pools, but I just, I didn't want to put a swimming pool in this build. Um, because it seems to be the thing that you always put in your back garden when you're building in The Sims because there isn't, there isn't like a great deal of things in the game at the moment that you can put in the back garden so you've just got to try and come up with some ideas <laughs> and um, just to try and fill it up. But yeah right now this little area I was working on there that was the gateway into what is going to be the veggie garden Um yeah I just thought it would be best to, to fence that area off because I do put in a little pet bed in here and um, I mean I haven't put any of the, the the cat like climbing frames and things in here or anything like that there's just a bed a bowl and I think I get like the pet toy box I put that out the back and the some little toys and that about the place I, I left it so that whatever family moved in here could be a family that had a cat or a dog and then if you've got a cat you can put more cat things in here or if you've got a dog you can do that for the dog Um, yeah I just left that that so you could just change it up to, to the sims that lived here but yeah just getting out the pathway here and this is a bit that I 
I edited out the video because it took us ages. <laughs> I mean, it's so simple, but it, still, just trying to work out where it was going, it took up a little bit of time when I was doing that path, and it was boring. I am just putting floor tiles down on the ground. So yeah, I cut a little bit out of that, so if it looked like it jumped there, like, it, well, it did, because I cut some of it out. Um, some of the plant placements as well, I had cut some of that out of the video. Like I said, it, it was just to cut the video down a bit to make sure I could get it into um, like two videos at the most, because the way it was looking, it was um, going to have to be in three videos and I really wouldn't like to be putting it into three parts. So I've, yeah, like I said, I cut some of the, the bits out for that, but yeah, over in this corner now I'm building well what originally was going to be like just a little house area like just for the sims to come and chill in maybe to have a bookcase in here so they could read a book but it, once I started furnishing it it that idea totally got changed and um, yeah so this turns into the art studio later on when I start furnishing it um, it's not it's not too big but there's enough room in there for like a tiny little art studio, you know, easel doesn't take up that much room. So I imagine, man, blah, 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 manage to get that in there and the, the, um, like some of the other artist objects in there. But yeah, in front of here is going to be where the pond is as well and to the side where that stone wall is. I raise up some stones later on and um, try to make like a little waterfall area. Um, oh yeah, I put a, like a little bridge, tried to make it look like there's a little bridge going over the pond so you can get to this, this little building here. And yeah, like I said, just trying to come up with some things that would take up most of the room because you can see it, it is quite big in the back garden area. So to create the bridge, I've just obviously used the foundation bit there and I get some fencing along the side and yeah because it is on a slant I've had to put the stairs in in a funny looking way I mean really it you I don't think you would get a bridge quite like that in real life but yeah because of the way the stairs are in the sims 4 I just had to place them in that way Um, I would have liked them to to be facing diagonally like the bridge but we just can't do that and yeah, to create the pond as well, I've just used the fountain tool. Um, sometimes when I do this in build, I will use the pool tool, so then you have the option of swimming in it. But I did, I just didn't want to do that in this build. Um, yeah, so I just used the fountain tool. And then I've surrounded all of the, the pond with rocks, which I also cut out the video because, I mean, it was just really tedious and boring. I've left a little bit in so you can sort of get a feel of what I'm doing, just going around placing rocks, placing some of them like in the in the pool, um, pond, sorry, and some on like on the grass level. Um, but yeah, like most of that has been cut out. Um, because yeah, like I said, it, it is just quite boring. But yeah, get some lily pads in the in the pond as well, um, some tall grasses dotted about and what else did i do yeah the bit at the back that i was building where all the the rocks of i've raised a lot of them up and sized them up that is the, like the little fountain area um just taking loads of various different kinds of fountains and <laughs> trying to make it well look more like a little like a little waterfall um and yeah i went into the kids section the toy section and there is a little it's one of the kids toys i'm not quite sure what it is it's some sort of like little alien like octopus looking i really don't know what it is but yeah there's an option to have that in like an orange color so i took that little toy sized some of them down sized some of them up and put them in in the pond just because just from where I was looking, they looked slightly like um, fish, like there could be fish swimming about in the pond. So yeah, I've took them and put them in there. Um, I mean, you can go into the debug items and you can get the, the fish that come jumping out the pond that you got in the game when you use the fishing spots. But obviously you've got to have 
that little signpost sticking out somewhere so yeah I decided not to bother doing it with the dig bug items and just tried to look for something myself and obviously found that little toy I mean if you look really close up you can tell that it's some weird alien octopus type thing but um yeah from if you as long as you don't get too close it looks fine it looks nice it, and it's something different something to jazz up the pond a little bit but yeah got two um willow trees in the side there as well um and yeah just just going around and placing plants in various little areas i haven't got too many plants in in places like what i'm doing now then mainly in like little planter boxes that i've created um i wanted it to be slightly like like low maintenance garden that's why they're all in planters so then you know you, you're not gonna have plants overgrowing everywhere taking over bits of the grass and yeah um i don't get too much more in this part of the garden now i don't think i think i just get some more lights around the place some seating um yeah put some ivy on the walls um because everything just looks better when it's got ivy all over it <laughs> um, what else do i do i think I, I put some stepping stones in um i can't remember if i rearranged some of the plants in the planters i think i edited that bit out because it was just too boring i'd put plants in and then decided i wanted to move them around a little bit and yeah rearrange them but yeah um there's still the veggie garden as well to do in here so i've done the veggie garden in like two bits so half of it is just for show just to make it look nice so even if you're not planting any vegetables in there there's an area that at least looks like there's some sort of vegetables growing there and um put some vegetable planter boxes in there as well so that's the place where you can go and plant your own vegetables if you if your sims want to do that and um, but yeah i've just tried to take some of the plants that are in the game plants that look slightly vegetable like um, well like vegetable plants so i have well i've obviously used the pumpkins because they're good to go for a veggie garden um and some just some other plants i've sized down um i used some of the little bushes that were got in the get together pack the bushes that you can use the um as toilets the the ones with the red flowers on i thought when they were sized down just because they had little red flowers on they look similar to maybe it's like a tomato plant so yeah i've put them in there sized some little stick things i found i think it's supposed to be the pole for one of the the lights and um, the sort of string lights that we've got i think it's it's that yeah I size that down and put that in like the tomato plant to make it it look like the little um bamboo poles that some um like well support poles that some uh, tomato plants need for, to grow um what else did i do in there oh yeah the little trellises with the that have the rose bushes climbing up them i've turned the rose bush round so that that will be facing the back and you can't notice that much and put some plants in front of that just some little flowers i found that looked like um like pea plants when they flower before the fruit just put some of them in front of there so it looks like you've got some little pea plants climbing up the trellis um what else did i do oh yeah and i made like a little i think it's, it gets called like a cold frame i think like a sort of little low lying box that you use to grow little seedlings in yeah just taking some of the foundation tools well the foundation tool um <laughs> to build that and one of the like a glass awning thing using that for the as the lid um, yeah, just trying to come up with loads of ideas, just things that you would find in a vegetable garden. Obviously getting out the little trowels and gardening gloves. Um, the wall decoration that's got the fork and the, I think a spade on it as well. And yeah, I went into the debug items, 
got out, um, I think I got out like all of the different kinds of seed packets and placed them about the place. Um, I'm not quite sure if they actually, if they're okay to you to use once you get them at the debug items because I know sometimes with some of the vegetable plants if you take them out the debug items the, I've heard that the they don't produce fruit on them sometimes so yeah I don't know if the seeds will be okay to use you might be better off going and buying packets of seeds um, and some of the seeds you, you can't use until your sims at a, a certain level and anyways like I suppose but yeah like I said I'm just putting in the plants now that are supposed to be um, vegetables in the little veggie patch that are just there for sure they're just there to make it look nice and just so you'd know that like this is a vegetable garden this is the area where we grow the veggies um, so yeah, just taking different plants, like I said, using the bush with the uh, red flowers on, pumpkins, and just some other little plants that I thought looked slightly similar to, I don't know, maybe cabbages and lettuces and things. Um, and yeah, like I said, I've got the six planters in there that can be used for actually growing veg, um, what the sims can use. Um, I can't think of anything else I get in here. I'll get a few like plant pots around the place. Um, oh yeah, I put a few little plant pots around and I put in the the little orange and yellow flowers just to make it look like marigolds because I know like with veggie gardening, if you want to do like organic veggie garden gardening a good thing to do is like companion planting where you plant flowers and other sort of sacrificial vegetables near the ones that you want to um, actually like keep it for best so that they they will um, entice like all the bugs that you don't really want over to them so yeah they're supposed to be like little marigolds for that and also to pull in the bees to pollinate the um, different plants that are in your garden so you'll, you'll they'll grow veggies um yeah in the corner there the three bins that are put next to each other they're supposed to be like little compost bins um what else do i get in here the planters on the wall because they again because they had red flowers i thought they could be strawberry plants and yeah i get out some little barrels later on and raise up some plants in there that looked like the could well the closest thing i could find to um, like a potato plant because i know when you're growing potatoes it's normally best to grow them in a container um if you just if you like i said if you don't like organic vegetable growing it's best to grow them in a container because when you are digging them up it's hard to get every single potato so then the next year you end up having potatoes just sprouting up out anyway and it's really not good for like crop rotation um so yeah just just a few things that i know i know this because my granddad uh, used to love like planting his own veg and this year i tried a few just a few little easy things um but yeah so like i said in this one as well i do um clutter up the garage a bit and that's it um i do get a little little seating area like a little table and chairs out near the 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 doorways out the back but i think that isn't until like video two but um yeah so i think i will just leave it here and i will see you for video two hopefully thanks for watching everyone bye